everybody I am mum and welcome back to another video Dee Dee's here she's just playing some toys on the floor yay all right I'm going to share with you the progress I have made on my costume for Armageddon and so hold on let me grab this yes yes mum this is oh, the mask that we ended up making out of EVA foam. And my original concept for my costume was to have like a, a medieval type dress and a cloak. But I enjoyed working with the EVA so much that it um it my idea quickly evolved into a full set of armor. And so I've made a lot. So I'll insert a little clip right here. What I've got now, nothing is painted yet, but it's all almost all completely sealed. So I have made leg pieces, arm pieces, shoulder piece, and the breastplate. Everything secures with elastic and Velcro, so I can put it on, for the most part, on my own. Yeah. And so, um, we'll go through piece by piece. Now, everything is made, I guess, in the same manner that I did. Yeah, in the same way that I did the, um, and I did the mask, with the, uh, cutting the foam and then expanding it with a heat gun. And so, I think all in all, I've made, it was nearly three 3,000 feathers, some are only about 2 centimetres tall and some are nearly 17 for the larger ones. So, these here are my arm pieces and they go on like this. Now underneath my armour I'm going to wear a long sleeve black shirt and I'll wear long pants, so I'll be dressed in all black. So those are my arm pieces. Now this is all going to get sprayed um, with a metallic spray. I'm kind of going for this colour here, which I have on this cool top my husband gave me. These are my leg pieces. One of my favourite things I think I've made is the shoulder armour. I'll grab it, hold on. Talk to Dee Dee while I'm getting it. I'm giving kisses. somebody else's box. This is for those. This here, this is your box. Here you go. Okay. Here we are. So this is my shoulder pieces and I go on like this. And goes up with a belt buckle here, which I cut up. I bought this belt off my daughter and bought her a replacement belt first. Um, this shoulder pieces are based off a pattern from a channel called Lost Wax, and he does a lot of EVA foam and steampunk type things. So I bought his pattern and adjusted it because. You know, he dressed all his patterns as a man and it was quite flat here and it doesn't exactly fit over the boobage. So I needed to adjust it and kind of fit it. But it's it's got articulated arm pieces. I'm fully mobile. I can, there's no restriction on me. And I made this cape to go on it. Now I've got right here a magnet here and a magnet right there so I can get this cape on and but take it off at any point. 
you said this, just pardon me. One piece there, one piece there. And so that kind of just magnets on like that. Now I've got the idea for this cape, kind of the way Thor has his cape in the Thor film. So it just kind of drapes off the back of his shoulders and that just comes off quite easily. Now there is a foam piece that I have made to go over this to hide the stitching and such but um I won't be gluing that on until I painted everything and now I will show you the breast the breastplate that I've made now it's up on my um dressmaker's mannequin which is sitting inside a garbage bag so that it won't get dirty when I paint it with spray paint and here she is in all her warrior type glory you know I've seen a lot of um, story time videos on YouTube and I thought not much of what I had to say or any of my story times would be pretty interesting I'm a housewife with four kids and I stay at home all day and I don't go out much because pandemic and I just in general think that people are gross but I do have a cool story. I'll just pop this back on. Up. Now, my story happened when I was between the ages of, um, I would say, 11 and 12. Our family was living in Australia. And my brother and I were walking home from school. And I was running ahead, obviously. And was winning the imaginary race that I had between my, my younger brother. I So if I'm 32 now and my brother's 27, there's that amount of years between us. Figure it out. I'm not good at maths. I didn't finish high school. That's another huge regret that I have. But I was running and I tripped over um, the footpath, or sidewalk as Americans call it, and it was a piece of concrete had jutted up like that, and I tripped and have fell forwards onto the road. Now I think my brother was six-ish at the time if that works out and he grabbed me by the back of my school uniform right here. He pulled me up and I'm almost twice his height and definitely more than twice his weight at this point and picks me up and pulls me backwards because if, if he didn't do that at that time I would have been run over by a bus that had come down the street and the only thing that happened was as the bus went past I just got a clip on the knee as I went past and the bus just kind of carried on and and another lady, an old lady saw what happened and she walked us the rest of the way home which was only about another block and a half and I got home and she explained to my mum what she saw and that was it, I got checked out by a doctor, I was fine, my brother is the coolest so in a nutshell, my little brother saved my life and um, my brother is now, you know, this tall, stoic, quiet fireman who incidentally was the brother that gave me the passion for this mask. So, that would be my first story time video. Thank you for watching. I will do a big, I guess, broody, dramatic -y reveal when my armour is all complete. And I plan to do another video of going to Armageddon. I am travelling down with my youngest brother. And his girlfriend, who is the sweetest little thing. She's so nice. And um, and I'll make that'll be another video. So hopefully two more videos in my, I guess, armour series, which it has now become. So if you want to, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. If you're so inclined, you know, or not, you do you. Everybody likes different things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.